All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna basically do a walkthrough of the garage gym. It's something you guys have been asking about a ton of, so just wanna take you through, maybe talk about some of the stuff that I have, why I have it, how I have it set up, how long it took me to get this set up. It took me a while. Been in this house now for almost eight years and uh, it's been a work in progress the whole time. So for anybody that wants to have a home garage, this is my setup. It's a little bit more overkill than probably most people need. I have mine set up specifically for at least two people to be able to do every workout that we're doing together. That was my idea when I started doing it. I'm like, I wanna be able to have two people working out. Uh, so if anybody came over, which I have a couple of knuckleheads that always come over every day. So here we go. We'll start over here. Got two Concept2 two bikes, all my machines. I used to have them kind of lined up more so over there, but now I have it, uh, have them kind of over out of the way here. Two assault bikes, which will be replaced soon with echo bikes. Two Concept2 two bikes, I love these things. These things are, are awesome. Uh, you can use it as a spin bike and you can get great workouts on it, right? And then I have my road bike as well that's collecting dust right now, but should be starting to get back out on the track here soon. Over in the corner, got a little jump rope. Got some sledges over here. Uh, some memorabilia from Rogue that Rogue sent out. You know, the Sisu hammer, which is pretty cool. This is where I do my kids' heights every year on their birthday. Play like a champion Simon because everyone knows that's what you need to do every day. Got the wrestling mat here for when we have the wrestling practices for the boys, we can pull this thing out. These new Dolomer mats are awesome. They're so light. I've never seen, when we grew up, wrestling mats weighed a thousand pounds minimum. Got the new rig. Uh, I'm not sure what the name of the rig is, but it's a uh, monster light rig, or actually no, this is a monster rig uh, with these new cool trolley arms where you can do so much stuff with them. Got a bench, got the Rhino belt squat in there. My old belt squat was the west side one, which was huge, and so it took up way too much space. So this kind of alleviated taking up all that space with the belt squats involved in the rack, um, which is huge, and I think the belt squat is an awesome addition. It's, it's a huge game changer, and I think a lot of people will probably get some good use out of that. Got two pull-up bars in there, and I can actually do pull-ups or muscle-ups on either one, too. So again, same thing, two, that's the theme. This thing right here is a, uh, it's an addition that you can get for this rit or for this rack. It's a um, basically like a box squat type scenario. I was pretty pumped about that because with the knee injury, box squatting is huge. Here's where handstand push-ups go down or wall walks, whatever. And we have wall balls ranging from 14 pounds to 30 pounds. Got my uh, hand grenade, black bumper plates. These really, I got these so in case I need to do anything outside on concrete, I don't want to ruin the competition plates. Again, a little overkill in my gym, but you know, being sponsored by Rogue is, is awesome. <laughs> if you can do that, get there. Big dumbbells, anywhere. I got dumbbells from, I think 10 pounds all the way up to 125s. Two GHDs, I love doing GHDs, do them all the time. You can do a lot of stuff on this, on this machine and uh, you know, GHRs. You can, only, you can even kind of get as a reverse hyper type of deal with the band. Got this bad boy. A lot of pictures of this. Basically just an Alice pack with a weight uh, plate carrier, plate storage on there. This thing's awesome for mimicking rucking or, you know, I do it in workouts too, but this thing's huge. Rogue actually sells them. Can never have too many barbells, right? I uh, got some cool ones. Uh, got a few Oli bars. Got this. Earthquake bar, pretty cool for shoulder stability stuff. This one's an old bar that, uh, it's a raw steel bar, so got a little bit of rust on it. Need to clean that up. Another Ohio bar, and then that awesome American flag bar down there. Don't forget about that one. That one's pretty sweet, too. Just another perk of being with a rogue athlete. Got some sandbags, some more outside. A couple 200s, a couple 150s, and a couple 100s are the ones that I have filled up. You don't really need much bigger than that, I mean, unless you're doing strongman stuff. New cool Rogue bar there where they got the name on here. Bridges Rogue. A couple benches, again, two. Um, I have a yoke broken down back there. It was the one that was inside here that I used for squatting, but when I got that rack, I, don't, I no longer need it, and those things are super quick and easy to put together. So we got the monolift arms back there. I uh, got two setups, one for a monster rig, which I have two in here, and then I have one for the monster light rig to put outside, that was kind of more for the knee. I could squat pre-surgery, uh, but that step with the weight on my back was really causing me pain, so, or the monolift and that, 
helped out drastically. Got the pegboard. Again, for me, I don't have high ceilings in here. I think these ceilings are probably around 10 foot. I have to put mine down to, down to the floor. I can either start like on my knees or just start really low on the pegboard, but I, I, don't, I don't get to get the full length of it, but it is what it is. I'm, I have to make do, and uh, I love pegboards, so I'm glad I was able to get that in, inside the garage. Got my weights. These have just been an accumulation throughout the years. Um, have every year, uh, as a rogue athlete, you, if you go to the games, you get a set of plates from the games, which is pretty cool. They started doing that, I wanna say in 14. So I have every year that I've been there since 14. People always ask me for them, and no, you can't have them. Got some plyo boxes here, the soft ones, uh, so you don't bang up your shins if you're trying to do high box jumps, which is really nice. Some more uh, specialty bars back here. Got the safety squat bar, which is an awesome tool. A lot of the strong guys, strong men, wear it, use these things. Got the curl bar, you know, when you gotta do curls for the girls. Got a loadable dumbbell barbell here from Rogue. Pretty sweet. The C30 bar, C130, the short bar. This bar is, is good. It's just really stiff and it kind of sucks and messes with a lot of the athletes. You just don't get the whip that you get on the big bars. And so it kind of hurts when you do like cleans and thrusters on it. But they use it in the games and regionals for having more barbells on the floor and not having to worry about like people hitting each other. And then an, ax an axle bar to do axle work for working that grip. Got some more, um, Slam balls here, 40 and a 30, or uh, 40 and a 50, sorry. Um, slam balls are nasty. People don't like to do them because they think they're not that cool, but they are awful if you put them in a conditioning piece. Some more dumbbells, some kettlebells, got some big boys, got the 150s, got the 124s, and then like 30s, 40s, 50s, 70s, and a, a 60. This kettlebell is from years and years ago. I bought that, I wanna say, probably in like 2006. Two ski ergs. As always, got the rock wall there that I built for the kids. Doesn't get a lot of use these days. Got a lot of the kids' records up here, like 100 calorie ski, 50 calorie ski, 30 burpee box jump overs at, at height, head height for the boys. Jerk blocks. These right now have become kind of a catch-all. <laughs> got some foam rollers, rollers, stuff like that. Gotta have your Nerf guns, you know, you never know. Rowers, again, two. Got the fan for when it gets hot in here, which it does actually, we are in San Diego, but sometimes in La Mesa area, we get, we'll get a little heat wave. And it'll be like 100 degrees over here, so gotta have the fan. True form runner, thing is awesome. I actually always said I would never get one of these things living in San Diego because why would you do that? But I got it and for regional training and then loved it. I used it quite a bit and that thing is awesome. 200 pound kettlebells, these bad boys. I've actually started to use them as kettlebells. You can do kettlebell swings with them. They're pretty nasty and they'll work the whole back. And then if not, you're doing deadlifts, farmer carries. I built this box myself. This was from back in the day, probably like 2010 or 11, I built this box. Still holding up. It's coming, to, coming apart on one side, but you know, who cares about that, right? And then we come outside. Got my Castro rig. I think this is the Castro 2 actually, where you have the 15 foot stanchions and not just the 12 foot, which I believe the first one had. Two wall ball targets and then two pull-up bars. So you, if we have, if we have multiple people out here doing pull-ups or, or if you want to do pull-ups outside, whatever. Uh, got your set of rings with the long straps, which is something that caused a lot of trouble for a lot of people at, once they started doing that at regionals and games. And then this is actually where, this bar right here is where the rope goes. We don't have the rope up right now. We've had a ton of rain and those, it just chews up the ropes. And so I, I go through about probably four or five ropes a year. Have a skate ramp in case you need to skate. Got a banger from the games. Have this, had this got this actually in 2012. Uh, went to Rogue right after the games that year and snagged one. So, and then I got two tires for flipping. Got my dog sled here. These things are awesome. This is actually one thing I do need to, I need to get a second one of these. All right, I think that's it. I think you've seen everything for the garage gym. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you liked it. Comment down below, do the thing, and as always, don't forget to pay the man.